sturdy and, and uh, the materials are very solid. As you can see here, um, uh, you know, all the materials laid out so you know everything that comes in the box. Um, <clears throat> as always, have a nice open workspace because this is a large uh, unit. And uh, the, that bears the attachments, um, which are marked very clearly. The instruction guide looks like it's complicated, but it's, it's not terrible. I mean, it's very brief, but they did a nice job with the uh, blow-up view. So I started mine like this. I put the uh, first pieces on the floor uh, and how they're going to be connected. And, and uh, these little padded uh, things go into these uh, holes on uh, the end of the base. There's uh, three holes on each of the base pieces. And <clears throat> this here deal uh, is where you can put uh, weights, you know, like that you exercise with and uh, put them on there uh, to secure it even better. I mean, if you put this unit on a carpet, it isn't going anywhere. But uh, even on this tile floor, I have it moves around a little bit. But if you put some, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds of weight on each of the ends, it's definitely not moving. So uh, that's what this is for, as far as I can tell. Is uh, otherwise, I, I really don't know. Um, you know, what the padding is for, uh, honestly. I'm imagining you could figure there's some somebody smarter than me is going to uh, post it. But anyway, the instructions tell you, you know, you put the bolts in on the bottom. And uh, it's really rather simple. I mean, it's a little bit goofy. The bolt, you know, you got to fiddle with it to get it in. But I'm sure you'll figure that out. <clears throat> uh, so then, you know, uh, we're going to attach the base pieces together, as you can see here. Um, and you're going to use the uh, large bolts, the, the longest bolts that are in the assembly. Um, and they label them as, uh, what, the M10s, I think. Uh, so you'll put those in there. And again, it's a little fiddling and whittling, but it's not horrible. Uh, the engineering was, is, is pretty well done and everything fits good it, it slides in there make sure you do your washers you're gonna put one of the washers on each side you know on the head side and then once it slides through the other side you put another washer on and then you put the bolt over the other washer <clears throat> um, as I think I'm trying to show you so anyway you do, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there Fiddling with it. Anyway, you'll be fiddling with it too. So you fiddle with it until you get uh, uh, both bolts in. I really have no idea why I didn't just cut this out and make it look like I had did it easily the first time. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, everybody's going to be fiddling with it a little bit uh, to, to get it in. And, uh, you know, whatever it takes. Just don't forget the washers and the bolt. I think uh, I ended up having to put that side in first. I was having trouble getting the other side in first. And, oh, and don't tighten it down. Just snug it with your fingers <clears throat> because you'll need a little bit of flexibility when you're putting the other pieces in. Okay, so moving on to the next part here. Uh, I'm putting the bolts that I'm going to need for the uh, whatever this middle frame unit is. Uh, it, you know, it's the thing that the base that holds the bag. It's not the top part. And again, it's rather self-explanatory. Uh, you know how it mounts into the base. You can see where I'm putting it. And then you're going to use the long bolts again to fasten it. Um, to that middle uh, base piece uh, just like I'm showing you here and again with the washers don't forget the washers
and don't tighten it down again a little bit of wiggle room is pretty good and you just snug it in there <clears throat> I mean you want to snug it in reasonably well or it kind of loops flops around but um, I, I didn't tighten it all the way down and they tell you you know to just hand tighten it for whatever reason so after uh, you get those bolts in we're gonna start filling with the uh, side supports oh no we're gonna put the the big tall overhead now you, the little plastic thing that says Everlast you gotta just sort of hit that in there on the top I already did it uh, and then you gotta put the the uh, bag hanger through that hole there you go and uh, just put a washer in the top and one of those nuts in the top I didn't do good with my uh, GoPro here unfortunately I think I started having problems with the way I had it angled but you can see how that went in so then the top bag holder unit uh, you know it slides in with the little box thing on it facing away from uh, the base just like you can see there and then it just slides in actually slides in rather well without too much uh, problem okay so now we do the side braces <clears throat> and um, so put the uh, facing the unit like I'm doing here you want to put that one on first you know they that's the way they have the instructions anyway and I find that following the instructions usually is the best route <clears throat> and then on the bottom you use the long bolts the longest ones which I think are the M10s uh, and make sure that you uh, shoot them in towards the interior and the reason is you don't want the nut to be sitting on the outside to cut people's feet off and stuff you see how it sticks out a little down there so um, make sure that uh, the bolt goes in so that the nuts are screwed inside so they're not protruding and then on the top you're going to be using the, the second largest oh, I haven't got to that yet I'm still climbing around at the bottom just snug tighten it with your hands again you want it to be a little bit flexible while you work work it in on the top part so um, now for the top bolts you're going to use the second largest bolts uh, here not the uh, big ones and it's going to end up going through uh, to the uh, other side. So you, I don't know what I'm doing here. It's my GoPro. I didn't have it aiming properly. Live and learn. Dumb, dumb. Anyway, so once you get that bolt just in there, kind of, you know, just holding it, put the other brace on. Oh, my. I don't have this aimed right. I do apologize. And, uh, and then you know stick it through and then put the nuts on as best you can there to, to fasten it but you know just tighten it down then you put the large bolts on the bottom of the other side just like uh, on the outside so that the nuts will be on the inside so these are the large bolts right here okay and then just sort of hand tighten those down and make sure everything's correct like that you can see how it looks and then go ahead and start uh, tightening these guys down a bit not sure if I did the full tighten here or not I did yeah, just tighten the whole unit down now. Hey, as always, I would not use your super muscles uh, and and break it. I mean, this is some really sturdy stuff. This is not cheap. They use some pretty good materials that can handle it. Uh, I would tighten it good, but don't do it until you you know you're gonna break your wrench because I'm not sure which is gonna break first, the wrench or the bolt. You certainly don't want to break the bolt. Just tighten it good. 
you know, it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, you can check it once in a while. It doesn't hurt to check them, uh, you know, in a couple of days after people have been hitting it and make sure that everything's snug. <clears throat> also, cross-tighten. So you tighten a little bit and tighten another bolt next to it. You know how you do that, right? Because what happens is it'll tighten unevenly. So tighten one you know, bolt, then go to the next one, then go back to the first one. You know, uh, I call it cross tightening, but what it does is it, it tightens them evenly so you don't have stuff poking out and, and tightened uh, weird. You, you get, I think you know what I mean. Okay, so the next section is going to be the little bag uh, hanger, and that's a piece of formica or wood or whatever. Uh, which again is nice. I mean, they did a nice job on this. And then the the frame is very um, uh, durable. And uh, you gotta uh, you're gonna have to play with this. <laughs> the I think it's the third longest bolts that go through this one. And um, it's uh, you know. You can see I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to get, I don't know why I'm showing you me trying to figure it out, but anyway, you will. I mean, it's really just a matter of lining it up with the holes and sticking it through the bottom and holding it in place. I mean, if you have a second person that can help you, obviously it would be much easier than doing it with your legs and arms and teeth. But, uh, you know, you slide the bolt through. Uh, and then you can't see me tightening the bolt on it because I have the GoPro wrong. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, once you crank that sucker down, then you slide it in that little box. And I put mine all the way down because my son is going to be hitting it and, you know, he's short. Uh, but, you know, you do it where you want, but uh, it's got, you know, I mean, you should know what you're doing here, but you don't want it so, so low that you're going to be punching the wooden hanger. It's going to hurt your hand if you punch that. <laughs> so anyway, you slide it down, and honestly, uh, so then you put the little, there's one that's a, a tightener, and one is like a little lock thing with a spring type deal, so you can slide it up and down. <clears throat> And I haven't fiddled with that to see which is which, but the holes, I think I show you which ones that I put them in. There it is. You can see it. I didn't do a super great job with that. There. That's how I have it. I haven't tested it yet. But it's supposed to be designed where you loosen the one and then you can pull it out and, and slide it up and down at will. Oh, there's my son playing Ark. And... I don't know why I put this in here. So anyway, then you uh, are going to crank all this stuff down. Uh, and, you know, retighten everything. Uh, those, oh yeah, I don't even know if I tighten those bolts yet. But anyway, just make sure everything's nice and tight. And uh, really, that's, that's about it. I hope it helped. I mean, I know I use YouTube all the time to help me with stuff I'm stuck on. So I figure, well, heck, when I'm putting something together, I'll go, and I, you know, if it can help somebody that maybe lost the instructions or whatnot, I have no idea why I'm videotaping myself cranking this stuff down. But I did. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, you should use your own wrench because theirs is going to hurt your hands. <laughs> and I have a little Allen wrench thing. You get that at the dollar store. That thing on my left hand, I got that at the dollar store. All right, well, I uh, hope I helped you guys. And uh, there it is. And, and uh, the materials are very solid. As you can see here... Um, uh, you know, all the materials laid out so you know everything that comes in the box. Um, <clears throat> as always, have a nice open workspace because this is a large uh, unit. And uh, the, that there is the attachments, um, which are marked very clearly. The instruction guide looks like it's complicated, but it's, it's not terrible. 
I mean, it's very brief, but they did a nice job with the uh, blow up view. So I started mine like this. I put the uh, first pieces on the floor uh, and how they're going to be connected. And, and uh, these little padded uh, things go into these uh, holes on uh, the end of the base. There's uh, three holes on each of the base pieces. And <clears throat> this here deal uh, is where you can put uh, weights, you know, like that you exercise with and uh, put them on there uh, to secure it even better. I mean, if you put this unit on a carpet, it isn't going anywhere. But uh, even on this tile floor, I have it moves around a little bit. But if you put some, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds of weight on each,